Hey guys, it's Aman and Christina from, from Our Rich, Rich Journey. Journey. On today's video, we are answering the question, is it too risky to invest in the stock market right now? We have been getting this question a lot and it's probably because the stock market has been going up a thousand points and down a thousand points, it seems like every other day. And so this question is at the forefront of a lot of people's mind. Should they stay away from the stock market altogether? Is it too risky? So our channel is all about making money, saving money, and investing money on the road to financial independence. And we reached financial independence last year and we retired before 40. And a large part of that was because we invested in the stock market. So in this video, we want to share the factors that you should consider when you're asking yourself whether or not it's too risky to invest in the stock market. So in addition to talking about these factors, we also want to share some of the things that you can do to mitigate the risk for you when you're investing in the stock market. Now I want to make a note about investing and achieving financial independence. You see on our channel, we always talk about in order to achieve fire, you have to have your money working for you so you don't have to work anymore. And in order to do that, you have to invest your money one way or another. So you're either investing in the stock market, in real estate, or in a business. But the idea is whatever you put your money into, that money does the work for you so that you don't have to work anymore. But by making that investment, you are also taking on a level of risk. So investing is one of those things that isn't gambling because the investment that you're making has been researched. You've done all the legwork to identify that you will get a return on your investment. And it is that return on investment that you have to be happy with based off of your level of risk. So in other words, what I'm on saying is you really need to think about your level of risk and your potential reward in tandem. So the greater amount of risk that you take, the greater the reward that you can have from that risk that you take with your investment. But it also works the other way around. The greater the risk, potentially you could have greater losses as well. So you really want to think about that as you're thinking about the level of risk that you can take with your investment portfolio. So the first factor that you should consider is whether or not you have an emergency fund. Now, if you do not have an emergency fund, then the answer to your question, is it too risky to invest in the stock market? Yes, it is too risky to invest in the stock market if you do not have an adequate emergency fund. And the reason for this is because if you should run up against some sort of emergency, you do not want the only money that you can access to be in the stock market. If the stock market crashes or plummets, you do not want to have to pull that money out of your investment portfolio in order to pay for an emergency. The next factor to consider is if you have high interest rate debt. If you have high interest rate debt, Yes, it is too risky for you to be investing in the stock market because debt works against your wealth growing ability. If you have high interest debt, you should not be investing in the stock market. You should be paying off that debt first. And the reason for this is because the stock market returns are not guaranteed. If you have high interest debt, you can guarantee that ultimate payoff of that debt by putting money towards that debt and paying that off. That is a much more secure avenue for your money by paying off a debt versus investing in the stock market. The next factor is your time horizon. If you have a very short time horizon of when you will need the money that you invest in the stock market, then yes, the stock market is too risky to invest in. Now we always talk about long-term investing. That is the way that you can grow your wealth because the stock market can be very volatile over a short period of time, but the longer you stretch that investment out into the stock market, the longer you can have your money in the stock market, the greater the potential for your return and the less risk you're associating with your particular investments. The next factor to consider are your goals. Do you have established goals before you start investing in the stock market? And if you do not have any goals, that means you are investing in the stock market blindly. And yes, that is in fact too risky to do. 
So when you invest with a goal in mind, the idea is that you are establishing a plan. And part of this plan is doing your research and understanding what you can invest in. Are you investing in individual stocks, in index funds, in ETFs? And with that, you're really looking at the level of risk associated with each type of investment. So the idea is you start with a goal, you develop a plan, and then you make investments that support that plan. Now the next factor is kind of a unique one that has been happening more and more with investors and it is borrowing money to invest. Especially at a time like now when people see the stock market at such a low point, they may feel enticed to borrow money from their credit card, from their 401k, even get money on margin to invest into the stock market. This is a bad idea and this is a recipe for some of the most risky investing that you can take on. Because some of those loans that you borrow from, they may come due before your investment gives you the return on the investment. So this is something that you should not be doing. This is the ultimate too risky to invest in the stock market factor. So we are on our last factor before we start talking about how to mitigate your risk. This factor has to deal with your mindset, your money mindset when it comes to investing in the stock market. And if investing in the stock market is going to keep you up at night, it is too risky to invest in the stock market. You see, as investors of many years of investing in the stock market, we don't think about the stock market every single day. In fact, we rarely check our accounts. We think that for people that are constantly watching their investments, that is a risky factor and it can make investing in the stock market too risky. And the reason for this is because people who check their accounts daily or very, very frequently, those are the type of people that tend to get swayed from the plan. They tend to tinker with their plan and they try to make adjustments to either time the market or sometimes they just ultimately end up selling at a loss. So the idea is if you have this mental anxiety about investing and you can really check your anxiety about investing based off of the March 2020 crash, how did you feel about that? Did it make you anxious? Did you want to sell? If you have anxiety about crashes, then investing in the stock market is likely too risky for you. Now I hope we didn't discourage anyone with that mindset factor, but it is a very important thing to consider. The good news is, is that over time you can develop a way to overcome that. You can strengthen your money mindset. And we're going to talk about that right now in some of these factors. So we want to talk about the ways you can limit your risk when you're investing. And the first way is doing your homework. Now we already alluded to this, but by researching what you want to invest in and really understanding the components of your investment portfolio, this is a great way to reduce the risk. So this is very powerful because when you do your own homework, you are not investing because someone else gave you a hot tip. You are not following the herd. You are making your own decisions. And by doing your own research, you can move forward and invest with confidence. You can set realis realistic expectations for the returns that you're going to get on your investments. And we think doing your homework is a great way to also strengthen your money mindset. Now the next way to mitigate your risk in investing in the stock market is to develop a plan. Now we actually already talked about developing a plan when we we're talking about whether or not it's too risky to invest. But in this point, to mitigate your risk, the idea is to develop a plan, but the idea is to develop a plan before you get into the chaos of investing in a crash, for example. You do not want to develop your plan during moments of a crash because at that point you may not be thinking clearly. The idea is, of course, to develop a plan, but to develop a plan when you're thinking clearly and when you can make good decisions on your investments. And the idea behind that is when you get into the chaos of an investment, when the crash happens in a stock market, you can stick to the plan and you can be consistent. The next way to reduce your risk is through diversification. By investing in a basket of stocks, as opposed to one individual stock, you are able to spread your risk across multiple companies, across multiple sectors. And diversification has been a time-tested way of reducing your risk when it comes to investing in the stock market. And the next way to reduce your risk is to place a portion of your portfolio in conservative assets. 
So let's talk about bonds, for example. Bonds tend to create a more conservative and less risky portfolio for investors. But don't be fooled. Bonds also can involve some form of risk. So we're going to actually do a video in the future where we go into more detail about bonds. But bonds help create some more safety in a portfolio if you're selecting the right type of bonds. So bonds, CDs, or just holding cash along with your other more aggressive investments really help to reduce the amount of risk that you're taking when you're investing in the stock market. The next way to reduce your risk is by setting up dollar cost averaging into the market where you automate your investments at the same time of the month with the same amount of money by dollar cost averaging into the market this minimizes the anxiety you have of putting a lump sum into the market now we can talk about what's more effective when it comes to the return on your investment lump summing or dollar cost averaging but from a risk standpoint if you're taking into account that you have some anxiety with putting forth a whole lot of money into the market dollar cost averaging is a great way to address that anxiety so those are the ways to reduce your risk when it comes to investing in the stock market hopefully that's all strengthened your money mindset because your money mindset is probably the most important factor when it comes to investing in the stock market it takes a lot of character and strength to invest in the stock market at a time like this but this is also the best time to invest in the stock market because this is when people make their money in the stock market during a bear market but the volatility the ups and downs of the stock market if your money mindset is not in place then it is too risky for you to go on this adventure of investing for financial independence and retiring early we present this to you as a challenge not to discourage you but to encourage you to get your money mindset right before you start investing in the stock market so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and join, join the, the journey, journey.